A foster mother is going to prison for 20 years for the abuse of two children in her care. One of the older children used his phone to tape Diane Combs and her husband berating and slapping these children. Anjanette Levy has the disturbing video that does contain graphic language. This video shows a six-year-old and three-year-old boy standing next to a chair where Diane Combs was sitting. One wet his pull-up and was made to do squats, and Combs shoved the pull-up in his mouth. Open your mouth. Now, squat. The faster. Another child she knocked to the ground. Get up. An older foster child shot the video of Diane and her husband Timothy abusing the children. It's heartbreaking. Um, I, I'm, I'm speechless. To be honest, I'm speechless. Sherry Murphy's son shot the videos. Her three children were in the Combs' care because she was serving time in jail because of issues with drugs. They never voiced anything because they were terrified and scared to death that they would be separated. Um, so that's why they, they didn't say anything and then I guess they just got the courage up to do it and record it. Local 12 News broke the story of the Combs' arrest in September 2018. On the outside, their home looked like the perfect place for children to live. They were the premier foster family, as we understand it, um, at the county at the time. And there had been other allegations of, of concerns with their use of corporal punishment. And had it not been for this video, who knows what would have happened. But the video revealed the sad truth. Diane Combs' attorney says she was overcharged and was taking medication for a leg ailment. Don't touch my leg! She had an issue uh, where she was, uh, like many people who are under the influence of narcotics, not able to make good decisions, had an, imp an impaired judgment. That claim was news to prosecutor Lynn Deddens, who read a victim impact statement in court. A good quote that she had put in her impact statement is, this goes to show that monsters don't live under beds. They actually walk around in human form. There is a silver lining to all of this. Two of the boys in the video are about to be adopted. It's a far different life for them now. This plea agreement means those two young children will never have to testify at trial, which the prosecutor says they didn't want to do. Lynn Deddens also says those children were concerned about ever being returned to the Combs. In the newsroom, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. So disturbing and so hard to watch. Timothy Combs pleaded guilty to charges in his case, and he was sentenced to 13 years in prison.